name is Carolyn Box. I'm owner of Outside the Box Fitness. Tonight I've brought you into my kitchen to give you some ideas on really quick recipes that you can make that are really healthy. They support the metabolism, um, a neutral pH in the blood, bring down inflammation in the body, keep you full, and they're delicious. So the first one I'm going to start with is a, is a breakfast or a snack idea. And what you use is quinoa. I really like to use quinoa because it's not a grain. It's a plant-based um, grain type. Um, it's, it's got a nice uh, balance also of carbohydrate and protein. So it doesn't really spike the insulin levels. There's the protein present that slow it down in the glucose in the bloodstream. So what you'd want to do is, um, I'm going to make two servings here. So this is a quarter cup times two, so half a cup of dry quinoa to a cup of water. So what I did was that you just follow the directions on the back, put a half a cup of dry quinoa to a cup of water, um, bring it to a boil, and then simmer with the lid on. The water cooks out and it, cooks out and it fluff, fluffs up really nicely. So I start with this. So this is for two servings. And um, to that, all I'm going to add is about a quarter cup of almonds. Almonds are great because they're uh, full of healthy micronutrients that support all your body um, functions. And also, the fat in, in almonds is good because it keeps you full. There's a satiety, the satiety factor. Um, and also, the nice thing about almonds is there's fiber and calcium. So it's a calcium source. You're not looking to dairy for your calcium. So I'm just going to add that in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of organic sweetened coconut for just a little bit of uh, flavor and sweetness. Mix it up. It's nice to put cinnamon for flavor. So just put some... Really, it's to taste. I like cinnamon, so I put quite a bit. But you could also put nutmeg, you could put cloves, anything like that. Mix it all up. And then I'm gonna take organic coconut sugar. This is the only sugar product that I use because it's got a lower GI. First of all, it's not refined like white sugar. Um, it comes from the coconut. It's got a really low glycemic index, so, um, it won't, it, it's not as sweet, and it's good for you in moderation. So I'm going to make just a little bit of a syrup, uh, maybe half a teaspoon I'm going to take. And then I'm going to add the same amount of water. So just enough to make it kind of a syrup here, not too much. Then you want to mix it up until it all dissolves. And then put it in. So that was a teaspoon, a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of water, just enough to make it um, melt. Mix it all up. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of Himalayan, pink Himalayan sea salt. And then it's as simple as laying it out on a baking sheet on parchment paper. And you want to spread it quite a bit so that it browns. Then I'm going to put it in the oven at about 350 degrees for about 15 minutes until it gets nice and brown. So this is one that I made earlier. You can see that instead of using almonds, I used... Um, Sunflower seeds. Nuts and seeds are, are both great to use. And you can see the consistency. It went brown and it's quite crunchy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some blackberries. Blackberries are great because they're also low on the um, glycemic index. So there's not a whole lot of sugar and there's tons of fiber that's going to slow that sugar down in your body. And then also, of course, they're Full of antioxidants, micronutrients, great for the immune system. 
So this would be two servings here, or if it's breakfast, that's about a half a cup. And then you just take the quinoa and put it over top. And that's a serving right there. And enjoy.